Now, say I am a funny guy who comes about to change the coordinate system. So, say the coordinate system which was assumed to be like this. E z is rotated just like what we did for uh, the finding the components of a vector in a different basis. Say I rotated to E x star E y star and E z star. I gave a anticlockwise rotation of angle theta. Okay. So, where this is leading to is I am going to derive Mohr circle equation. Equations are I am going to look at transformation of stress. Okay, so. Now, what happens if I rotate the coordinate system? My stress sensor remains the same because the components of n and the traction might change, but the component of the stress sensor also will change, but abstractly the function remains the same, right. So, basically, just like you are different numbers representing the same vector, you are different numbers representing the same tensor, but their components will change in a particular manner due to the change of this basis and we are interested in finding how does this transformation of components of the stress sensor take place. Okay. So, the stress sensor remains the same. So, basically I have sigma transpose n equal to T of n. I find the components of sigma i j as sigma e j dotted with e i and I find star a b components as the same tensor e b star dotted with e a star. Okay. I substitute now then sigma would be sigma e j dot with e i e i tensor product e j just like what we wrote in the previous class and similar to what we wrote for the uh, components of the vector this will be e b star dotted with e a star e a star tensor product e b star. Okay. In I know sigma i j so I substitute the fact that I know that sigma i j into this. So, this will be nothing but sigma i j e i tensor product e j that is sigma e b star dotted with e a star e a star tensor product e b star. Okay. Now, this is sigma i j e i e j dotted with e b star dotted with e a star would be your sigma a b star. This is nothing but sigma i j e j dotted with e b star and this is e i dotted with e a star. Okay. In the in the previous lecture we, we defined q i j transformation matrix as e i dotted with e j star. The transformation matrix matrix was defined as this and then we showed that q q transpose has to be identity matrix right using this definition this can be written as sigma i j 
q j b q i a okay so now i can rewrite this as q i a sigma i j q j b right this is matrix matrix multiplication as we saw in the second lecture this will be matrix multiplying sigma multiplying q because i have the columns of sigma matrix multiplying with the columns of rows of the q matrix on the other hand here the rows of the q matrix is summed up with the rows of the sigma matrix so this will be q transpose this also we saw in the second lecture where we saw what is a transpose multiplied by b and what is a multiplied by b okay so this is a transpose multiplying the resultant of these two multiplication process okay so from here we see that sigma star matrix would be q transpose sigma q where q is defined as ei dot ej star okay having got the transformation matrix let us work out what will be the transformation for this particular transformation of coordinate system okay let us see what will be the transformation for this particular coordinate system transformation we already saw what q was basically we saw that e x star is nothing but cos theta e x plus sin theta e y and then we saw that e y star is minus sin theta e x plus cos theta e y and e z star remains as e z and ends the q matrix would be cos theta minus sin theta 0 sin theta cos theta 0 0 0 1 okay so that will be your q matrix 